gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The show starts in ten, nine, eight, seven, six. She went by back in a way From the corner of my eye I saw you and you man You were sitting on the swing On your front porch And painting your nails like you were born And you or she was sure impressed with you Well, I ain't first class, but I ain't white trash And I'm a little crazy, too Some girls don't like boys like me Oh, but some girls do And I yelled in the nest if you were like a ride You ain't the world out of your yard up all the time you were laughing at me, I was doing James Dean You were the prettiest girl I'd ever seen When you rolled your eyes and swirled my pick for the dance Well, I ain't first class, but I ain't white trash And wild and a little crazy, too Some girls don't like boys like me Oh, but some girls do Don't get no breaks And rich boys say they got what it takes But there's someone for each of us So to say Well I ain't first class And I ain't white trash And I'm in a little crazy too Some girls don't like boys like me Oh but some girls do well, I ain't first class, but I ain't white trash I'm wild and a little crazy, too Some girls don't like boys like me Oh, but some girls do Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, welcome to another exciting episode of The Artist Heart Live with me, your lovable host, the artist, the author, and the spiritual mental health mentor, John Morris. And I hope you are doing phenomenally well wherever you are in the world today. Welcome to the only show that is jam-packed for the 30 minutes that you are going to see from the start to the finish that is literally going to rock your socks off and make you feel really good and positive and all that is good about life. Boy, first of all, folks, I hope you really enjoyed that musical... Um, I guess tribute, I guess you'd say, to, to Sawyer Brown, one of my very, very favorite bands, of their wonderful hit song, Some Girls Do, which was actually filmed all the way back in 2021. Uh, and it was actually for our Christmas special. I know a strange song that, to do, but it was actually a Christmas variety performance, which was the first time I'd ever, ever done a variety performance with such amazing, amazing talent from all over the world. Normally the variety performances are just me, you know, and just doing something, but so many people wanted to help. And it was a tremendous amount of fun. If you haven't seen that show, make, make it a point to go and check it out. It's about an hour long, but you will thoroughly, thoroughly love it. It's got everything in it from music to art to ballet to dance to many, many more creative and artistic expressions. But talking about shows, I got to thank you guys and girls that shared and watched and tuned into last week's episode of The Artist Hat Live, the Top Gun special. 
that show damn near killed me. And I mean that quite literally, folks. Not so much for the actual workload itself, but singing at the pitch that uh, the Cheap Trick and uh, the gentleman whose name escapes me that sings Danger Zone uh, sing at. I mean, it was high pitch, but it also damn near killed me because YouTube's algorithm had changed slightly which meant when we ch when we shared the the, uh, the video and the links across uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, the damn thing wouldn't show up. So I mean, that the show was almost dead in the water. Loads of people saw that the p the picture was there, but nobody actually could click on it and do anything about it. So after we finish today's filming, we are going to be going back and taking care of that because that show deserves a ton of love, especially for the amount of work that was put into it as well. But onwards and upwards we shall go in this week's episode of The Artist Heart Live. We, of course, have got the lighter side of the news. We have got another beautiful, beautiful art demonstration tutorial for you. And, of course, we've got our little art history tutorial as well. But before we move into any of that, how are you doing? I think it's really important at the end of a busy week just to kind of get a gauge how you're doing, what's going on, how are you emotionally before the, the I suppose, the, the busyness and family kind of stuff of the weekend comes along. You know, as I sit here, and this has been filmed on a Wednesday afternoon, it is a gorgeous, glorious summer day here in Scotland. It is roasting outside. We've got air conditioning on in here, which is keeping me nice and cool. Uh, obviously, wearing all of this, I kind of need it. But one thing that I've become really, really, uh, I suppose, aware of is time passing really, really quickly. You know, and, and time does this, you know, for the joyful. It is the joyful who have a short life, because as they say, time passes quickly when you're having fun. It must pass very, very slowly or at a minute snail pace crawl for the miserable. But it's really, really interesting. And I, you know, kind of reflect upon this. And I would say to anybody who's watching this, if you feel that time is passing quickly and you're not doing the very thing that you want to do in life, then start now. You only get, you know, 120 years maximum in life. Most people get 70 or 80 years. I've already lived 34 of them. Now, I've done a lot of things in my life and I've loved what I've done. But if I can encourage anybody with this, it's don't die with your music in you. Find a way to make it successful. Find a way to make what you love, your passion, your hobby, whatever it is, find a way that you are fulfilled in life and that you do what you love and you love what you do. And when you do that, your life will be so much richer. You won't just be going to work for a job but you'll be going there because it's something that you really feel passionate about. Speaking of that, we've actually got, uh, we were talking about that on this past Wednesday's episode of the Battles We All Face podcast. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. I'm not going to say too much more on that, but we are going to move on because now I feel, more than anything, it would be a great place to turn to the lighter side of the news. So here we go. Okay, and on this week's Land Inside the News, we begin with uh, an interesting character who's been creating kind of storm for himself more recently in Vladimir Putin, who had openly said that uh, Western leaders would look disgusting if they were to uh, undress above or below the waist. Now, this came as a result of a, uh, a photograph that was taken with Vladimir Putin riding a horse, a nice big stallion by the looks of it, and he was shirtless. Now, for a gentleman who uh, some say has terminal cancer, some say is as fit as a fiddle, who the really knows, um, you know, the reality is he doesn't actually look all that bad. But I find it very strange, the fact that he, um, you know, he, he, he likes to give fitness advice. You know, he never strikes me as someone that I look at and think, hmm, he's the epitome of fitness and health, especially of a sound mind, body and soul. But he did, he did, however, close his interview by saying it is necessary to stop abusing alcohol and other bad habits, do physical exercise and take part in sports. That sounds like uh, someone from almost like 100 years ago that said the exact same thing. On to our next piece of news. I don't know. I mean, can you imagine bon Boris Johnson in, uh, in, a, in a shirtless picture? Maybe, maybe that's what should happen. They should do a, 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 I don't know, a swimsuit calendar of all of uh, the, the world leaders you know, I mean, you, you've uh, Joe Biden, you know, I'm sure Joe would look gorgeous in a, in a swimsuit. You've, uh, you know, Boris Johnson, I'm sure he would look absolutely magnificent in a, in a, in a mankini. Uh, you know, I think it would be most interesting indeed. And who knows what uh, developments, if any, should uh, come of this. And if they do, uh, this uh, bodybuilding fanatic can honestly tell you he will not be buying that issue of the swimsuit calendar. 
In other news, a bear in California rummages through a medication bin. Authorities are urging people to ensure that the rubbish drops to the bottom in effort to prevent bears from easily accessing them. As we can see here, this lovable bear was very, very curious and uh, manages to actually extract some discarded medication from a waste bin, although the police say nothing was consumed, thankfully. But it is. I mean, if you live in an area with a bear population, then you have to make sure. I mean, over here in Scotland, our population is not of bears, but it is of seagulls. And uh, I have personally eat, seen seagulls um, destroy bins, take them apart, throw rubbish all over the place. Um, but there you go. So if you are in the States and you have a bear-friendly zone, make sure that your medication or any waste drops to the bottom of the bin. Don't be lazy. A police officer handles alligator with bare hands in Georgia. Apparently, the alligator was discovered outside an unexpected local resident's home. And boy, oh boy, is he a big fella indeed. Uh, there's very little that's uh, reported on this, apart from the fact that the uh, police officer wrestled an alligator with his bare hands. Let's take a look at that, shall we? And finally, Metallica has been in the news once more. The rock and roll band, dare I say it, the heavy metal band, have been in the news once more, not for their musical exploits, not for causing chaos or carnage, and not for a new release of music, but actually because a woman gave birth in a Brazilian stadium show as the band played Enter Sandman. You know, the, you know the, the, we get some strange and, and weird and wonderful facts that come along down the pike through the years. And a lot of people have said, you know, what their entrance music would be to the life and what, you know, their, their music would be as life goes on and progresses. And even what their, their I suppose, their, their finishing up music would be. But the reality is this little babby had his literally, for the very first time ever, his very, very own music in Enter Sandman. And uh, supermarkets, cars and lifts are among the highest amount of population for people giving birth. Uh, but this newborn in Brazil can surely now lay claim to one of the most rock and roll arrivals of all time. And we wish... All of them. All the very, very best. And folks, that is the lighter side of the news this week. Now let's take you way back in time in our way back machine as we present to you another fun art tutorial. It's gonna be alright. Things are working like they should. Well, it's a brighter day and a brighter way for me. I'm gonna be alright I'm gonna be fine Alright Everything is coming out good I'm gonna be alright Things are working like they should not right. I want a more purpley purple. Da -da, whoa! Maddie, look, look at me! Woohoo! <laughs> I've got it! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Huh? But these were just different colors. How did you do that? I don't know. I just juggled them like this. Whoa! <laughs> it changes color. I was trying to do the same thing with my paints. See? I was mixing blue and red to make purple but I couldn't get the right kind of purple for my butterfly. But this is like magic. Juggling is like magic. <laughs> I'm going to find out more about colors, Dada. Come on. Look, Dada, a color disc. It says that when it spins, our eyes mix the colors. Eyes mix the colors. Our eyes are like magic. That's just like when I mix yellow and blue paint to make green. Only now it's my eyes mixing them. Hey, it says this artist did a whole painting that makes the person looking at it mix the colors with their eyes. 
What do you mean? I'm looking at it, but I'm not mixing anything. Well, that's what it says. Well, let's go find out. Hello, you must be the artist, Monsieur Georges Seurat. Absolument. That is me. Bonjour. I'm Dada. And I'm Maddie. I've been watching the construction of the Eiffel Tower. A most magnificent feat. You see it being put together piece by piece, and in the end, voila! One masterpiece. Hmm. It looks very different up close. Indeed. It is made of little pieces. Ooh, look, Dada. Look at this. <laughs> Dada, crazy. A painting of colored dots. Dots? What are you talking about, Dada? It's a beautiful sunny day by the water. Huh. Up close, it's one thing, and far away, it's another, uh, like the Eiffel Tower. Bit by bit, dot by dot, I constructed a whole painting. Monsieur Seurat, you must be really, really patient. Mais oui, it took me two years to paint this. I call it a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte. <laughs> And all made out of colored dots. <laughs> yes. Instead of mixing the colors first, then painting them on, I let the eyes of the person looking mix the colors instead. Like that color disc, Dada. Except this painting isn't spinning, so that's why I am... Mais non, non. The spinning won't help. You must go close and far away. Okay. That sounds better. And I won't get so dizzy. <laughs> Yellow and blue dots. Look like green leaves. And that lady's purple pom-pom. Red and blue dots make purple. Magic. Wow. And there's so much to see in the painting. I like monkeys. Oh, Monsieur Seurat, you have another painting. <laughs> hey, look! The dog, wow! The monkey! Hey! <laughs> Dada, you're all dots. I feel dotty. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> what a silly monkey. Anymore. That has never happened before. Strange things always happen when Dada is around. <laughs> I liked that monkey. This one I call Shau. I am almost finished it. It's just like we're in the audience, looking up at the dancers. Dada, wow! I like the shoelaces. You have the same shape for the hanging lamp. Oh, and the mustaches, the flowers, and the lady's expression. Yeah, and look at their legs. <laughs> They're all stretched fully. Oui, oui. I'm having a lot of fun with this <laughs> painting. It looks like you have a lot of fun here in Paris, Monsieur Serra. It's fun just to look at the painting. Yeah! <laughs> Dada, it looks like you belong in the painting. Ah, oui. I will paint a jolly man right in that corner. That is perfect. And I just saw something here, Monsieur Seurat. Look at this, Dada. The colors of the musician's jacket. It's purpley. It looks so... just like what I was trying to do for my butterfly. Yup, all dots. I can paint my butterfly with dots. I have called painting like this pointillism, which means made of dots. Dark colored points to form a hat. Then light color ones, like this, to make his face. Oui. Then some lips, some dark dots to outline his coat. Fill it in with lighter dots and some hair. And voila! Bravo, Monsieur Seurat! It's excellent! This was fun! <laughs> Thank you so much, Monsieur Seurat. It was indeed my pleasure. Come visit me again, if you please. We will! Goodbye! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs>
Bunny. <laughs> yeah, look, Maddie, my dog monkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Artist Hat Live. If you have, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the section below, and don't forget to join us this coming Wednesday for the Battles We All Face podcast, which goes a little bit deeper into your spiritual life, into your mental health life, into your, your basically your life, your professional, your personal all of the things that are there, and if you've got questions or comments, either about this show or about that show, do get in touch with us. Also, come and visit us at thejohnmorris.co.uk. We've got a brand new website, which is going to be coming up very, very soon, which will be one central location for all things John Morris, whether it's art, whether it's books, whether it's tutorials, whether it's paintings, prints, you name it, we've got it there, and all things self-help and inner engineering as well are going to be all things there, one central hub for all things John Morris. Until next week, my friends, take care. God bless. Have a phenomenal, phenomenal safe week, and I will see you same time, same place next week for more of the Artist Hat Live. Take care.